going to be trying my first attempt with the combing tool challenge and I haven't made my actual tool yet. So this is kind of modeled after the marbling designs or the paint designs where you have the, the paint on the water and then you do your designs, you do your little swirls in them and then you put the paper on. So this is modeled off of that but we're using a tool to drag the soap in a certain direction to make those designs. So I will be using some corrugated cardboard and I'm going to be putting these little skewers in there to put my placement. So I want to have like, this is, this is a rectangle shaped bar and I want the impact, so to speak, to be coming down this way. We will be using a base solid color and I will be using a base solid color and then I'm using squeeze bottles to Put the lines and I have the lines going this way and then I'm going to drag the soap this way so hopefully this will work out okay but what I'd like to do is have two small skewers um, on the soap bar and so I'll have these little drag lines here and then I'll have hopefully a loop actually I guess it would be going this way if I drag this way um, in the center and I'm going to space those out so I have my three sets of those skewers I'm going to go ahead and put this together once my lye is cooling off. I haven't done that just yet. I haven't made, put my lye solution, so it'll be a couple hours before I'm ready to make actually make soap. Anyway, I'm going to be doing my squeeze bottles, the condiment bottles. I Before I knew about another way, um, I bought these Playtex baby, baby bottle liner drop-ins, and they work really well. They look like something completely different when I'm pulling them out of the bottle, but they're actually baby bottle drop-ins. And something else you can use, those that packing material, those, um, those tubes of air that you get, you can snip the top off and put those in. This is a really great reusable way to do that. So I do have some of these saved. Um, the nice thing about these bottles, so say I have my soap in here, once I pull it out, if there's any soap left up, I twist it up, um, cover it very tightly for a few days, and then it makes really great soap dough. So the colors I'm going to be using, actually let me backtrack, the fragrance I'm going to be using is Herbal Essence from Brambleberry. This is discontinued because it is hard to work with, and it also um, has a very low safe usage rate. So it's supposed to, or it can rice in soap, probably will. I haven't used this in cold process in a long time. I actually like to use it in shampoo bars and like bath salts, bath bombs, things like that. Um, so what I'm going to do, so for me, I will just fragrance the bottom portion and then I will do the unscented layers on top. That will be the actual surface design. It will not have any fragrance in it. And what I'm planning on doing, I have two of these molds. I'm going to divide the whole batch in thirds. I'm going to pour a third of it in this one, a third of it in the other one, and then the last third I'm going to divide in in half basically between the two batches and that will be the colors I'm going to put on top. Now, I'll do one of them with the herbal essence. I'm going to add the fragrance to the oils before I add the lye in. Usually with a misbehaving or especially ricing fragrance, you can get away with get away from that ricing by adding it to your warmed oils and then doing the lye solution to it versus doing it um, you know, coming to saponification and then pouring there. I still plan to work very quickly to get it in there. If it is a disaster, because sometimes fragrances are, or if it's too lumpy, if there's a little bit of movement, that's okay. Um, then I'm going to use this. Um, this is from Wholesale Supplies Plus the acai berries and satin. It's a similar scent, um, not quite. I do know this one stays fluid. Now for the colors, um, I'm going to be using five different colors. I will alternate the lines. I have red violet mica from Nurture Soap. This one, it fades terribly in soap, but it will be okay in this for this purpose. If you want a great pink, this is not it. I don't know if I just got a bad batch or if it was discontinued, I don't know. Um, then I'll be using pearly, super pearly white mica from Brambleberry. This one you're supposed to mix to a slurry, which I've done previously in previous videos to avoid speckling. I have copper lip safe mica from Brambleberry. Unfortunately, I did discontinue this one. I love this color. It makes a really great, um, kind of a, um, a rust orange color. Then I'm going to use apple moss green from Brambleberry and Yellow Baby Duck from Wholesale Supplies Plus. So I've got quite a mix there. I'm gonna go ahead and get everything ready to go. I will come back when everything's the right temperature. I have my corrugated cardboard made. Now corrugated cardboard, if you don't know, let me grab it real quick. 
That is, this is a box. I had to go through our recycling mm -hmm. to find something to use. Corrugated cardboard has those little holes in it. That's what that means. It adds cushioning and it adds support. So the skewers will fit into those holes and then I'll have them all lined up. I'm just gonna cut this to size. It's a, it's a big box right now, but I'm gonna cut out sections to size and then I will be able to do that. And if, say I don't like the design, then I can move, move those skewers around easily for the next one. So I'm gonna get everything ready to go and we'll come back when it's time to do the pouring.